Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. And today we're going to compare some of the places where you can hire them to help you file your trademark application. Specifically, we're going to look at trademark engine, legal zoom, trademarkia and trademark paramount. I'm going to compare and contrast these different options for you. So you can see if any of them are ones that you would want to use. And yes, at the end, I'll recommend one of them versus the others and kind of give you the pluses and minuses of any of them and let you know if there's any of them that I completely hundred percent do not recommend. So how am I actually going to be reviewing this? I'm not hiring any of them to file trademarks for me at this point at least. So what I'm going to be doing is going through what they have on their websites and talking to you about, does this make sense for you? So what are their fees? What's actually included in their fees? These are weirdly difficult things to figure out for some of these. Do they have legal advice available? Is it included? Is it even available? Are attorneys filing this for you? And this is specifically important and I'm talking about for those of you who are located outside the United States. If you reside outside the United States, you have to have a lawyer help you to file a trademark application. So would this qualify as that? And then fifth, I'm gonna be doing just general due diligence about these companies that I would do anytime I would ever hire someone to help me with anything in my business. And I'll show you the kinds of things I look for to figure out if a business is sketchy or someone I should actually be doing business with. So I picked these four because two of them, Trademark Engine and Trademark Paramount advertise a lot on YouTube and I see them here. And then LegalZoom I think is one of the big ones that everyone's probably heard of because they do so many different kinds of things. Trademarkia is also a big one for doing trademark applications and is a place you can also do free trademark searches. So, so let's start looking at each of these businesses. So the first we're going to look at is trademark engine. Okay. So trademark engine, they have a website here. looks like a fairly nice, normal website. It looks like they actually do multiple other things. They do trademark stuff and they also do copyright stuff. And then they, add, you can get them to help you with multiple different types of things for a trademark, including registering their trademark, responding to an office action, etc. So let's first just look at if you want to just register your trademark. So they have three different packages that they are offering here. One is doing a trademark search. You may want to do a trademark search before you file your trademark. I mean, you definitely want to do one on your own, at least <laughs> searching online and in the trademark database. You might want to pay someone else to do that for you. Trademark registration is the actual preparing the application and filing it. Trademark monitoring is something where they will theoretically do searches for you and notify you if anyone's infringing, at least by doing online searches. So we're going to look here at trademark registration. It says starting at $99 and that's not including the, the trademark offices filing fees. I, that's normal. I would not say it shouldn't include the trademark filing fees because it depends on how many classes you're filing in. Typically you're either going to be $250 per class or $350 per class, depending upon how you do your application. So it says you can register it as little as seven minutes, which seems strange, but it has a questionnaire, the process online, customer support, online access. Okay. We're going to hit learn more to learn more about this. We're going to the specific website. Let's view the packages and see what kind of packages are, are offered. Okay. So the basic package is 99 standard is 149. The Lux is 199 basic package. They do a direct hit search in the trademark offices database. They do the filing electronically, which I would hope they would do electronically because you're not allowed to do it by paper. Um, and electronic delivery. Let's view more details about this. Is it doing it? Okay. This actually opens up a thing with has a lot more check marks. Okay. So direct hit search, professional preparation doesn't say lawyer preparation just says professional. I don't actually know what that means. Formatting specimens. That's just saving electronic files. That's fine. Um, electronic delivery of your application. Yeah, they, you should be doing that. I, you can't really file by paper anymore. Um, you have a, some kind of online account. You have some monitoring that you is a subscription service that auto renews for $99 a quarter. And it looks like you might automatically get signed up for that. Then for the higher levels, you get a cease and desist letter and they're sending you a template cease and desist letter. You get a transfer and assignment letter. If you sign up with standard deluxe, we'll help you with the trademark. So if you need a trademark, to a, tr transfer your trademark to another entity, another business, or, you know, form an LLC, whatever, you have to do an assignment. And private registration. So this is something that I think is concerns me. So it says private registration is 
that they'll make sure your phone number and email address do not become part of the public record. That may sound like a good idea, but I don't think it is. You, if you have a business, you should have a business email and a business phone number. Phone numbers are cheap and easy to get. You can get a Google voice number for nothing. A email address is very simple to get. You can get a Gmail account just for this. I would never want some third party, whether they're a lawyer, whether they're a service, have the only contact information for my trademark, whether or not it's the trademark office contacting or whether or not somebody else, like who, when well, this company goes bankrupt and then your contact information isn't on there and you don't know when the thing needs to go up for renewals or whatever. So I don't think you want this at all. It sounds good, but I think it's bad. 24 expedited hour expedited processing. Um, normal processing time is five business days. Someone may or may not want that. Um, that's obviously up to you. Okay. So was trademark engine founded by an attorney? So it's founded by a top litigation attorney, which I don't think has anything to do with trademarks, like litigation, what kind of litigation, whatever. That doesn't even make me excited at all. It's a legal document service. It's not a lawyer, it's not a lawyer. So they're just literally typing stuff in forms. This could be helpful to somebody where you look at the forms and you cannot deal with it. It is too complicated for you. Maybe English isn't your first language. You just can't figure it out. And you need someone to literally fill the stuff out for you, but you don't have the kind of budget for a lawyer. And so this is, you can get the basic package for $99 and they will handle that for you. That's obviously a very low price for trademark work. Can you call and speak to a live customer service rep? They said that they answer the phone. Um, I haven't actually tested to see if they do. I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, you get one month of trademark monitoring. This is something that I would want you to watch out for, that they're not going to automatically sign you up for the $99 a quarter. You may want that, but you don't want to You don't want to sign up for that accidentally and be surprised. If I click this, then what happens? I'm going to see. Okay, then you start filling out the form for what you want your trademark to be, and you're starting to go through the process. So what happens is, is that for the USPTO filing fees, the trademark engine collects and pays the filing fee of $350. Sometimes you may qualify for 250, then we will use it and retain the difference between the standard filing fee and the plus filing fee as a result of additional processing. What? I am not happy about this. So they said that you, so here's how trademarks work. <laughs> is that when you file for a trademark under current law, is that there, you have to write a class description, which is the description of, of your product or service. I recommend that people use the plus application and use it's this gigantic database of class descriptions and use one of them because they've already been approved. You don't wanna like write your own and then they do reject it. Use one that's already been approved, easier, faster, and you save a hundred bucks. Here they're saying that if you save the hundred bucks, they get to keep it. They said it's because of additional processing. It's not additional processing, it's less processing. So that's, that is just not good. I do not like that at all, but because they're keeping a hundred dollars of your money. I don't understand. I don't understand that. Um, so I think what would happen is you go through this process thing. I am trade marking. Okay. This is not nothing. The name and da, 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 da. we're going to say no, no, no individual individual choosing your claim mark class. Okay. I'm literally just going to do, we're going to do a podcast whatever. I'm just fulfilling a nonsense. Do we want to do a trademark search? We're just, we're not going to pay extra for this. Now, should you do this? So here's the thing. What I recommend is that you do your own search on Google and you do a search on in the trademark database. So this is basic search, 50 states. I think it is helpful to do the states and common law search. If you're worried about that yourself, I think it's weird that they don't say that you're, uh, they're going to search on Google, but so we're just going to do the free one. We're going to do the basic package. Now pick the, if you want to do rushed processing, you need $49. I'm going to accept these terms, whatever. So I'm honestly not going to pay for this. You have a trademark registration package and then it's $99 plus the filing fees to be charged later. Okay, so I'm obviously not going to be doing that right now. So I'm really unhappy about them keeping the extra $100 if you do the plus. I think you should definitely do the plus and it seems like they don't do that and I'm not happy with it. Also, the trademark engine monitoring is a subscription service that auto 
and rolls. So you will start paying $99 a quarter. You may or may not want that, but if you don't want that, you're gonna have to make sure you affirmatively cancel it. So the last thing I'm gonna do with Trademark Engine is do a due diligence. They have a phone here. If I hit contact us, what actually happens? Trademark Engine is not a law firm. It's not legal advice. All right, they have a phone number. It's an 877 phone number. That's a free phone number, I think. They have an email. They have a live chat. Let's look. I'm gonna try to figure out who are these people. Company about us. So you click on about us. It just has some generic stuff, careers. You can send them a thing about their jobs. Contact us, we already know this is just a form. So our guarantee, what kind of a guarantee do they have? If you don't think that they did a good job, they have a guarantee. I see nothing about where their business is. Okay, so here's a terms of service. And now what I'm trying to find is who are these people? Like where are they located? What countries are they in? What state are they in? Uh, all this stuff. They have auto renewals, blah, blah, blah. They do logo designs, which is interesting and strange. Um, okay, if you're opting into arbitration. Okay, so here, to agree to commence arbitration in your county of residence or Harris County, Texas. That means somebody's in Texas. So they're probably here in the United States, at least somebody's in the United States, because they want to do any legal dispute you have with them is going to be in Texas. And their privacy policy, I don't see anything different. I mean, I'm glad they have a privacy policy, but I don't know what else is blockchain stuff. I mean, what does that have to do with anything? So by the way, they can share your information with group companies, with business affiliates. They don't have any kind of address. They don't have any kind of information about where they're located, except the fact that their choice of of jurisdiction is in Texas. But there's no reason to not have an address on your website, even if it's a virtual mailbox address. I mean, it's I think it actually is slightly weird. We also don't know what state the LLC was formed in. I'm assuming it's in Texas. I would look up entity name. Let's see if we can find this. So Trademark Engine LLC. Aha, I now have an address. They were formed in Delaware. And then there's their address in Houston, Texas. And the registered agent name is Legal Corp Solutions, which is not them, which is kind of interesting. Um, so this is where they're actually located. And then here, I can be really sneaky. I can actually look that up. Let's see what that is. Some sort of corporate -y buildings. So there's a good chance that they're actually in there. That's good. Let's move on to LegalZoom. Now, LegalZoom, I actually I have never used them to file a trademark application, but I have used them to do a trademark search before. So I'm familiar with how they work. So first we'll click on business for trademarks, trademark registration. Okay, so here, $599 plus the federal fees. Okay, plus federal fees totally makes sense. It has two stars, two stars always makes me nervous. What does the two stars mean? Let's find where the two stars are defined. No idea, I don't know where the two stars are defined. Oh, okay. It says this is a attorney led trademark package. I don't know what that means. We're going to try to find out. Uh, why do you want a trademark? Is there a chance it will get rejected? Yes. How long will register? Six to nine months. It will take way longer than that. That's just because they haven't updated their things. So it says, let an experienced attorney take the lead. All right, so for LegalZoom, their trademark registration, $599 plus federal fees. Attorney help, you have a 94% chance of registering a trademark. <laughs> we can talk about that later. <laughs> Um, if it get your first mark gets rejected, we'll cover our 599 fee to register a different mark. That's actually kind of an interesting way to do a guarantee is that you don't get your money back, but you get a credit for the next trademark. Um, a, an attorney will research your mark, file for you and deal with minor roadblocks, get a free trademark search for a second mark. If your attorney thinks is an issue with your first one. Okay. Uh, cause that, that actually is one of the things that's an issue is sometimes you'll hire someone to file a trademark application for you, but you really want a consultation before they go ahead and file it because maybe it won't work. All right. They say they've done 320,000 trademark applications. Okay. Agents are based in the U S all right. Start my trademark registration. All right. We're going to start now. See what happens. Business name or product product thing to trademark. It's a terrible name. Um, are you currently using, we're going to say no. Description of goods podcast. Who owns the trademark? We're just gonna say me. 
All right, assembling the package. Okay, I'm obviously not putting that in there. Let me go see what the terms of service and stuff are. Okay, USP, USPTO filing fee of 350 or 250 will be charged before we file. We can call and text us. Look at the terms of service and the privacy policy in a sec. I'm agree to a limited scope agreement with something called LZ Legal Services. I'm assuming, ah, so LZ Legal Services is their, are their lawyers. Now a limited service agreement, that actually isn't inherently a bad thing or anything, is that when you're hiring a lawyer to do something really, really small for you, like let's say uh, back when I used to do quick calls and, and someone was just doing a 15 minute call with me, I'm not like representing them in everything, you know, I'm just giving them 15 minutes of advice. So it's a limited scope agreement. So if you sign up for this, you are actually purchasing attorney led trademark services, which is a very interesting like way to phrase it. It is not legal zoom it is this le what is it lz legal services an arizona limited liability company that is you're having a limited scope representation with um there's attorneys own equity in legal zoom blah 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 they're not representing you generally in trademark matters or intellectual property matters but only very very specific things that you sign up for which makes sense so here's what you get you get a single phone consultation not to exceed 30 minutes. You get a trademark search, including USPTO and common law results, a review of it, and as deemed necessary, consultation on potential conflicts, preparation and filing of your trademark application where attorney will serve as attorney of record. So this is very important for someone who is located outside the United States. They're gonna be your attorney of record, so this will work for those of you who are located outside the United States. And either, the client can sign the trademark application or the attorney may sign the trademark application. Yeah, I think it may, depends on the situation. If you sign up for multiple trademarks in your package, then you get additional time, which makes sense. Anything else, responses to an office action, other work, et cetera, is not included here. So, and this is something that is going to be true most like with everybody. I actually don't know yet, but this is something that makes sense is that you're just signing up for them to file your trademark, not to respond to an office action. I think one of the things is some office actions that come back are very, 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 very simple to respond to. It's like that you need to make some kind of like just change how the commas are in your description. You need to use a little bit different of a word. You need to send them a file because the file was corrupted. Like just really simple things to do and charging extra for that, having that not be included. You know, it's it's a way decision that they made, something to be aware of. I don't know exactly what happens. I don't see them saying, you know, what their hourly rate is for the other things they charge. Um, I don't see any fees. Um, in your client responsible for filing fees, they're set by the USPTO. There's no guarantee, dispute resolution of that. That's a normal thing to do. I don't see them saying what their fees are in this agreement. Like what I mean is what their hourly rate is if you need more work. I, I'm not sure what that is. So LegalZoom, LegalZoom is a giant company. I'm not doing a huge amount of due diligence here on them because I already know them. They're a legitimate company that actually exists um, and they have offices and everything. Here's their big giant terms of service. You can go all the way through it. Um, you actually have their address at the bottom of it. They're in Texas. Um, they have their privacy policy. One thing to be aware of is if you do buy something from LegalZoom, they're gonna try to sell you all kinds of other things, but uh, just something to be aware of. Okay, so I'm obviously not gonna pay for this, but that's the basic thing for LegalZoom, $599, which is fairly reasonable to actually get 30 minutes call with a lawyer and a lawyer is gonna be on record. So this would work for you if you're outside the United States. So next we're gonna look at Trademarkia. I was originally aware of Trademarkia a few years ago as a place to do searches for trademarks. One of the nice things that you can do searches on here for free that are searching in other countries. So sometimes if I need to do a trademark search in like a whole bunch of different countries, I'll come here and do a bunch of my trademark searches because it's easier than for signing on to the trademark databases of many, many different countries. And they have a search engine that's just free. But let's look at actually hiring them to do a trademark registration. So click on trademark registration. So let's just say thing to trademark. Um, have they actually said how much it's gonna cost? Um, we're gonna do it for a product, um, pod, a podcast. That's just weird. Life coaching. Oh, 
Let's do that one. This is actually kind of confusing because I, I, I think a lot of people aren't going to really know what to put here. Okay. All right. So how, what is the fee? The United States is $399, one class plus the government fee. Okay. Basic searches included, including conflicts, narrow down what you're selling, get legal advice. It has a little dot. So we're going to have to look at what the dot means. I wish they would say what it was right there. Get opinions from top rate attorneys. So we actually have the word attorney involved here. So there's some legal things happening. Okay. So privacy guard, we do not want, oh, they have some kind of privacy guard registered agent service. I think that's a, its own problem. Okay. So a trademark attorney will provide you with an initial opinion on your register, registerability risk for your trademark. And for $199, you get office action responses for certain things, disclaimers, descriptiveness, and likeliness of confusion. And if your first mark gets refused, we'll cover the fee for the different mark. So, and this is um, less than LegalZoom was, by the way. And then the gold level, you get video consultations with the IP attorney for 15 minutes for one year for any issues, max three hours. Hmm, that's actually a fair amount. That's actually a good price for that. And then once register, watch it for, for two years. I'm not gonna select these, but these seem fairly reasonable. It's called trademark insurance, which I know is a clever little thing they're calling it, but that's not what it is, but that's fine. It's processing, you can pay more to get expedited processing. Standard might take five or six days, that's fine. We're just gonna go with that, okay. So government fees at 350. I want to see what they do about that one. All right, proceed to payment. Okay, so what is the terms and conditions? If you have not paid the government fee, we will need to pay, pay a separate government fee at the time of filing. It'll be automatically charged when we submit it. All right, what's the terms and conditions? Blah, blah, blah. This is like getting very difficult to read. Okay, the law firm of Legal Force RAPC Worldwide PC doing business as trademark PC is in the United States solely representing the client in the matter. So here's something that is interesting is Trademarkia is just a DBA of a law firm. This is a law firm. So if you sign up for this, they're the law firm representing you in this matter. Um, obviously you have to do a conflict check and they could let you go if you don't pass the conflict check. For those of you who don't know, that is always true with them when you hire a lawyer. The client will retain the firm to provide a single phone conversation of up to 30 minutes. So it's similar to legal zoom where you get a 30 minute call included. And then you'll have initial email suggestions on what to change answers about questions, brief explanations, other answers and questions, suggestions, how to proceed summary of consultation. So things that are not included discussion on state trademarks, common law rights, responses to office actions, cease and desist, opposition proceedings, really a whole bunch of other specific things, but you can retain them to do that. So for service fees, let's see if, yeah, it doesn't actually say what their hourly rate is. It has standard hourly rates. Let me actually click on their website and see if we can find out what their standard hourly rates are. I don't, this is not a very good website. Um, I don't see anything about what their fees are. So going back to the terms and conditions, which is horribly long. This is, oh, my computer's like freaking out because I'm scrolling through it. Okay, there, yeah, I mean, they have an address here. It was revised in 2021. I'm not very happy about how long the terms and conditions are and the fact that it's all buried, but I, I do really like that an actual lawyer is representing you and an actual law firm is involved. So that's very good. $399 seems to be a very reasonable price for what you're getting. You can pay with multiple different methods of payment. What's a refund policy? You know, this that's vague, say whether or not you're satisfied. They also have a lot of other resources here on their website. So the last thing we're gonna look at is something called Trademark Paramount, which advertises on YouTube. And so I wanted to see what they were and see if it's something that I would recommend to you. So Trademark Paramount, first they have a chat that keeps opening up over here. I'm closing that. On their website, they have a phone number over here that you can call on 855, which is probably a free number. And then they have their chat and yeah, no address or anything like that. But typically that's what they typically have. So they have Trademark Registration, they have searches, copyright registration, office action response. Those are the only things that they have. So what are their fees? All right, searches start at 149, 
registration at 99, trademark monitoring at 175. I'm, I'm thinking there's no lawyer here just because it's only 99 dollars. That seems to be the standard that if it's a lawyer, we're talking hundreds of dollars and if there's no lawyer, it's 99 dollars. So let me look at, they have testimonials with just first names. Uh, so it makes me feel suspicious about something. They say they have 6 million business owners. So I am interested in whether or not that's true because Trademarkia and LegalZoom have hundreds of thousands of trademarks that they found and they're like the top in the numbers of how many they've done. So 6 million, where's that number coming from? But it also says their brand, business name, logo, slogan, more. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know about that. We'll, we'll see. All right. So looking at the actual trademark registration, let's just hit click started. What are you trying to protect? Trademark name. It's not even spelled right. Um, are you currently using? This actually looks very similar to the trademark engine. All right. Trademark classification. Okay. So basic package. Direct hit search. Professional. Preparation. I think these guys just copied off the other website. Um, digitation formatting, electronic delivery. This looks like it literally is copying this other website that we looked at, the trademark engine. I think it might be. Like, I mean, they they change the font and stuff like that, but it looks like it's like literally the same. That's sketchy. Okay. Um, let's just pick the cheapest one. Processing. Yeah, I really feel like by continuing forward with the brandmarkprotect.com website, which is not this website. What is that? I'm going to put this in Google and see what this is. That's some other website. I don't know about that. Are they just copying this other site or is that also them? I don't know. That's not good. So these guys are kind of failing my whole due diligence thing. It looks exactly the same as the other site. Maybe they're actually the same company, right? I don't know. Or maybe they copied them. And then also like the trademark monitoring services have US trademark pros. Who is that? Who's US trademark pros LLC? That's a whole nother thing. So and their arbitration, California. So it just says California and this is brand mark protect LLC. I'm actually going to search that in California business search and see that doesn't come up as a business that exists. Let's take the comma out. Yeah, that doesn't come up as a business in California. So I don't know about that. 323 phone number, which is LA. Okay. Later they pay the 350 and then we'll retain the difference just like the other website did. Yeah, this is about us. Gets no information really, but it is although we are not a law firm. So this is definitely not a law firm. Contact us, has live chat, and then they have a map of New York. Like what does New York have to do with anything? Trademark Paramount LLC. Okay, so do not hire these guys. Trademark Paramount LLC, Trademark Paramount, Whoever these people are, I actually don't know. I think that they may have scraped all this stuff from other people and copied it without putting their own information in there. I don't even know if these guys really exist. So no, Trevor Paramount is a no. So that's, that's simple. So generally speaking, if you are not comfortable filing your own trademark application, you really have a couple different options. One is to hire a service that is just a service, no lawyers involved. That's the $99 kind of version of things. The next is to hire a service that has lawyers there. So that is LegalZoom, Trademarkia, there's probably other ones that exist too. And then the top one is to actually hire a lawyer. If you're outside the United States, you do not reside in the United States, you have to have a lawyer on your application. Why is that? It's just a rule. I don't know why I'm not in charge of that. So you have to use a service that has lawyers there or hire a lawyer outright. If you're just not comfortable filing it, should you just do the kind of $99 thing? I, I do not recommend doing the kind of $99 service only because I don't really see what they're doing for you. You're actually having to write your own class anyway, and you probably don't even know how to do that. <laughs> So without watching one of my videos or something like that, and then you could just do it yourself, right? Like I don't really see what you're getting. And then you're going to be in their subscription thing and all these subscriptions. And I'm not really a big fan of that. So I would say if you're really not comfortable doing it, you want to have a lawyer in some way, shape or form. And so I'd either have one of these services or hire your own lawyer. They have a direct relationship with. And if you're picking between trademarking and legal zoom, 
I'm thinking I would go with, with Trademarkia versus LegalZoom. I've had so many people have bad experiences with LegalZoom. While I haven't heard about that with Trademarkia, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I haven't heard about that. I also really like the fact that Trademarkia is just the DBA of the law firm, where LegalZoom is a big, huge, giant company that has a whole bunch of parts to it. And then you're getting in the lawyer over there. Like, I think it may make sense to be more direct with the lawyer and also their fees are a bit lower. LegalZoom seems to be putting their fees higher and higher recently. And so if it was up to me, I would say Trademarkia versus over LegalZoom. And then of course, if you have a really complex situation, you may wanna hire your own lawyer outright, especially if people are already infringing you. Now, side note, if you're getting a trademark just for the Amazon brand registry program, you may actually wanna go through that program and use the lawyers that they have relationships with because the fees will be comparable to these other filing services and you're kind of in the Amazon reg brand registry program. I actually did a video like that. I'll link to it to so you can check that video out. Thanks a lot for watching. This has probably been a ton of information, but I wanted to give you some ideas that if you're not comfortable filing a trademark for yourself, where you could get more help as opposed to just filing, you know, hiring a lawyer. If you had the fees for that, you could go do that. But what are other services available that may be more affordable for you? If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you like more videos like this. Leave a comment below if you have any questions of something we talked about in this video, and I'll try to point you in the right direction. If you'd like to support the channel and making more videos like this, you can sign up for the Patreon. You can join the free Discord. You can learn all about that stuff in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.